Alice back with a brand new video and today I am doing part two on my worst to first of all of the 2021 Lego Star Wars sets that came out. Yeah, this video, well, is part two. So if you haven't seen part one, go watch it now because this won't make sense to you. Anyway, if you remember last time, I believe we got up to the X-Wing. But yeah, anyway, uh, the one after the X-Wing is the... Lego Star Wars Advent Calendar for £30 that year. I don't know, I have a soft spot for the Lego Star Wars Advent Calendars, especially this one. I don't know, I just really liked it. It's not my favourite one. My favourite was 2020, but hopefully this year in 2022 we have a really good one. Because I do want a really good one this year. Anyway, moving on is the Bad Batch Shuttle for £100. The shuttle itself wasn't that good, but the figures and the speeder bikes were really good. So, the shuttle, rubbish, rubbish. But, speed bikes and the actual figures were good. So, I need to give it credit for that. But, it wouldn't be my favourite. But, it is, to be fair, give it credit. It's a decent set. I would buy it, but it's not my favourite. It will never be my favourite. But, it's a decent set. It's a decent set. It's alright. Anyway, moving on is the AT-80 versus Tonton Micro Fighter for £18. This is really good. I really like this because the Micro Fighters are decently sized, get cool figures, and it's only £18. This is one of the better things Lego do. The versus Micro Fighters are the better thing, one of the better things that Lego do. And they are not known for doing things well. I will say they are not known for doing things well. But, yeah. It's, it's surprising how good it is, but yeah. We're moving on is the probe droid, specifically the Viper probe droid for £55. This was a really good 18 plus, I believe, display set. I like it. I have it. I own it. I think it's in my room somewhere. I own it. I really like it. I genuinely like it. It's a really good set. It's really cool. It's a nice set. It's definitely underrated. People call it bad when it's actually really good. Underrated. 100% underrated. Still a good set though. It's a really good set. I actually really like it. It's really nice. Anyway, moving on is the £70 Playscale Imperial Shuttle. This is a really good set. I'm not a huge fan of it. Like, it's not the... Yeah, it's a good set, but it's not like the best ever. But it's a good set. It's a good set. It's, it's nice. Like the Imperial Show, it's big. It's got play features. It's got good figures. Figures are really good, actually. But it's just, uh, yay. But it's a really nice set. Not, yeah, I don't really know where I stand on this one. Like, some days I'm just going like, this is the best set ever. Some days I go like, it's the worst set ever. And today, most days, most days, I feel like it's just an all right set. It is a good set. Don't get me wrong. It's a good set, just not as good as some of the others. Anyway, moving on, I think this set's overpriced, but the Lego Styles Mandalorian Fighter uh, for £60. I feel like this is overpriced. Look, like it's not much bigger than the Imperial Armored Marauder for £35, but it's almost double the price, and it's just not as good. I don't, like, the only reason I would buy it is for the figures at this point. But it's definitely overpriced, but I like it, mainly for the figures. But I like the build, it's alright, the build's alright. But it is overpriced, I will say. Maybe, like, it's bigger than it looks in, like, box and uh, on camera and stuff like that. Just doesn't seem too appeasing, appealing to me. It definitely looks overpriced, like, really overpriced. Well, next up, a set that I don't think's that overpriced is the £190 R2-D2. The, this is a really cool set. I just, I don't know why. I just really like it for the weird play features it has and how good it looks on display. I don't know why. I just really like this set and really want to just impulse buy it if I had the money because I'm broke so I can't afford it. Which is why I want you to subscribe. Yay. Anyway, I just really like the set. It looks really cool. It looks really nice. It just looks and feels and just is really good play features even though it's a display set for play features top quality 
has, even has an exclusive plaque for you to put R2-D2 on, like a little sit him on. It just looks so good, and I believe you can, it's like a pop-out, like, saw and lighter, I think. But yeah, I can't really remember that well, but it, it just is really nice. Anyway, moving on, is the Scout Trooper helmet for £45. This is the best helmet. The best helmet in the helmet series. I just really like the way it looks. It's quite cheap, actually. Actually, let me grab it. It's up here on my shelf, actually. Oh, here it is. It's a really nice looking helmet. It's quite smooth, nice studded. Well, that is, I might need to adjust my stand real quick. But yeah, nope, need to adjust it more. Like that, looks quite good. But yeah, it's a nice helmet. I like the way it looks, it's nice. It is definitely the best helmet Lego have made so far. I would say it's the best helmet Lego have made so far. It's slightly better than the Boba Fett helmet. I like the Boba Fett helmet. That's my second favourite helmet. But it's slightly better. Uh, oh, by the way, this is... The list is uh, mainly focusing on, like, value and stuff. But, yeah. Anyway, moving on is the £35 Playscale TIE Fighter. This is really good like this and the armored marauder as for some people are interchangeable like i personally prefer the armored marauder but i'm sure some people prefer the tie fighter the armored marauder's just got wait, this isn't an armored marauder yes the armored marauder is better but i'll talk about the positives of the tie fighter first it's really nice design it's probably the best like value accounted for tie fighter ever maybe like second or third because the solo tie fighter was actually quite good but it's probably one of the best tie fighters for value included and in stuff it's 35 pounds you get nil8 which is annihilate who was for some reason in the uh halloween special after this set came out i don't know why the halloween special wasn't that good i preferred the christmas special but whatever i am how I am. Wow, we just established how humans work. That's nice. But you never knew how that worked. Anyway, but it's a really good set. It's got decent figures. I believe it has Stormtrooper, Pilot, and Annihilate. It's the figures. It didn't have four like the Imperial Armored Marauder. And it doesn't seem as big as the Imperial Armored Marauder. Question mark. But it's still a really good set. One of my one of the sets I want to buy. Like if I had the money, that's one of the sets I would buy. In fact, I'd just buy every single Lego Star set that's available for me to buy. I know, right? Initiative. Anyway, the uh, next one is the £45 Slave 1 playset. This just is really good. I love the Slave 1. I have a soft spot for the Slave 1. And it's just a really good set. Like, the little wings on the side, uh, it's got, like, gravity or whatever in it. Moves with a set to make it balanced or whatever. I'm not really sure. But yeah, it's a really cool set. It's nice. It looks good. It acts good. It is good. Everything's good about it or most things are good about it. It's one of those you either like it or you don't like it. And in my situation, I love it. It's one of the best sets that you could buy. Like on a birthday list, this is probably the best one. To, not best, but one of the best ones to put on a birthday list. But... Best one I'll say for most people to be on the birthday list is the Razor Crest. But yeah, the Razor Crest is good. But anyway, Slave One, £45. It's really good. The figures, I would say, could be better. Plus, missed, mismatched Boba. Really stresses me out. Like, I don't get the point. Why just put in a bit more effort to have just match the two greens? It's not that hard. Just have the two greens the same colour. But you need to remember, it's Lego think of the environment when they when they just use the same piece they used before instead of making instead of painting it, yeah, using using a little bit a tiny little bit of paint or ink or whatever hurts the environment. Yeah. That's definitely the reason, because they think of the environment. I guarantee that's it. 
definitely. <sighs> anyway, moving on, leaving that aside, is the Lego Star Wars Armored Marauder. Actually, just quickly, I uh, finish this and then go back to my point I was about to make. The Lego Star Wars Imperial Armored Marauder, the figures, amazing. Two Stormtroopers, like, yeah, add back to your collection, why not? The Grief Karga, really good. But the Imperial Mortar Trooper, amazing. I would probably buy the set just for him. No, I wouldn't. No, I wouldn't. I actually wouldn't. But still, I love the Imperial Mortar Trooper. The set is actually bigger than it seems. It's actually a lot bigger than it seems. Oh, I'm tired. But the set's a lot bigger than it seems. It's similar size to the Scout Trooper helmet. It actually is, like, width fan length and stuff. It's actually a similar size. Oh, I feel like we're getting ripped off now. Yeah. Anyway, it's really good size. It's just really nice. It's just, like, what's not to like? It's good in play, like the actual set, the figures. Everything about it is amazing. But, yeah, it's just really good. The Imperial Armored Marauder, a bunch of play features. It's packed with play features, and it's good on display. I don't know where mine is. I thought it was on the shelf behind me. I could have sworn it was on the shelf behind me. Oh, wait. No, it's all the way up there. I can't be bothered to go get that. But, yeah, it's quite good. I like it. But, yeah. Anyway, we're going to go back to the point I was about to make. Also, why did they let the Mandalorian minifigure be misprinted for so long? It's not that hard. Just go, like, oh, mess this up. And then just change the design. Nope. Instead, they had to wait two years and go, like, mm-hmm. Yep, working on the new design. Shifting the little print up a little tiny bit. It takes two years to figure out. But no, that's fine, it's fine. It doesn't matter, it's not the end of the world. Definitely won't hurt Lego like, Star Wars creators, not creators. Well, yes, it's technically weird. But collectors, when they uh, just want the exclusive figures and it's misprinted. But... The weird thing is, to have the print actually correct is much more rare than having it misprinted. It's the wrong way round. Really annoys me. But Lego are done. What you can, can you do? And before I do my last and first favourite set of the 2021 wave, I just want to remind you, 1,000 subscribers and all of my sets in one video. I will not be moving the Falcon down here. I will, uh, like, jump to my bedroom because I'm not risking to move that again. Moved it to the living room to review it. That's the most I'm moving it. I know, downstairs, moving it downstairs. But I'm not taking it out here. Guarantee I will not be doing that. It's too risky. Can't can't risk it. But, yeah, 1,000 subs. I will do all my sets. One video. One video. All, it, will, it will happen. Can you, 1,000 subs. The moment I hit 1,000 subs, I will record it. Doesn't mean it will upload the same day, but I'll record it. Also, my birthday is actually ages away. No, never mind. We will not be getting any new sets to review sometime. But I'm not running out of sets to review. I've run out of, like, big, bigger sets, but I've still got plenty of microfighters and battle packs to review. Because that is what I do. I, I exclusively collect smaller sets. I don't know why I'm, I'm mean. Anyway, finally, my favourite one of 2021 is drum roll please the lego star wars imperial light cruiser for 150 pounds this i don't know why the dark trooper amazing should have had two still really good got fennec shan got boat not boba mando i think it had my fact no it had mando i don't know why i think it had bogotan or something like that i can't remember the figures it's a bit iffy in my head i might have a picture of it uh is this it Oh yeah, I've got a picture here. Got Boba, Grogu, uh, Carver June, Fennec Chan, Moff Gideon, and Dark Trooper. I don't know why I had Boba, but I didn't have Boba, but it had Fennec Chan. But we don't ask questions around here, that's fine. Anyway, it had uh, spring loaded shooters and little turrets, I believe it had the, uh, what's it called? You know, the brig as the handle, the brig was the handle. You could open it up and you could have uh, Mando with a spear fighting Moff Gideon with a dark saber. Also, something I noticed: the Lego Star, not the Lego Star, Lego Ninjago's black sword in black is a better thing for the dark saber than the actual Lego Star's dark saber. They need a custom print. They need a custom mold for everything. Custom mold 
for Grogu custom mold for Dark Saber. Custom mold for lots of stuff. They should have a new custom torso for the Dark Trooper. Also, they should have had two Dark Troopers. But the set, like considering it, it has two mini, mini, mini Tie Fighters in it. Considering it all, it's a really good set. Like you have to counter in like the value, how lazy Lego is, how greedy Lego is, and all that sort of stuff. And it's a good set. But yeah, I don't want to keep you guys here too long and being bored. So I'm going to let you go home to your families, read a book, I don't care. Anyway, see you guys next time with a brand new video. Peace.